Have you ever been interested in adding moving objects or moving images within your Google Docs or Google Slides? We are going to do that today by inserting GIFs. Okay, to begin, I'm going to open a new tab and search for my GIFs. And this is so that I can be able to see a broad assortment of them. And I'm going to search up exactly what I want. And since I'm focusing on Shark Week, I'm going to look up Shark GIF transparent background. And that's in my Google search already. From there, I'm going to go to the images. And I'm going to click on what I would like to add. And I like this. Okay, and to make sure it is a true GIF, the image should be moving. Sometimes they have them there and they're not moving and those will not be the GIFs, okay? So I'm gonna go back to the one that I wanna use and I like that it's moving. I wanna add that to my slide. Now to get this, I'm going to right click and instead of going to copy image and pasting that directly into the slide, I'm going to copy the image address Okay, now I have the image address on my clipboard. I'm going to go back to my Google slide and now I'm going to go to the insert tab. From there, I'm going to go to insert image and I'm going to go all the way down to URL because we have that image address now. So we're just going to paste that in there. I'm going to right click and paste making sure that is the one I want to insert. It is, and I'm now going to hit insert and add it again. Now you can size it however you wish. You want to make it a huge megalodon shark, you can. You want to make it a baby tiger shark, that's even better. And now we have a moving image in our Google slide. So let's say you wanted to give directions on where to take a quiz like I have here in this embedded um, Bitmoji classroom. You will go back to Google and you would look up something similar. I'm going to have some arrows. I'm going to put GIF and I'm typing transparent background because I want it to look transparent on the background but you can also just type in arrows gif if you don't mind having the white background or any color that appears okay so I am going to scroll and find one of my liking this one looks kind of cool And I like to click on them because if you don't, if you notice, sometimes it's just a PNG and PNG is a transparent background, but it's not a GIF. So that means it's not moving. Okay. So once you click on it and it starts moving, then you know that it's definitely a GIF. That one's moving and I like that. So I'm going to right click, remember, and we're going to go down to where it says copy image address. I'm going to go back to my slide and then I'm going to go to insert image by URL. I'm going to right click and paste it. That's the arrow that I want. I'm going to insert it and then we know that we can adjust the sides here with our um, cursor, but you can also come to this dot to rotate your image to however you wish. Okay, and just like that, we have a active moving PowerPoint slide or a Google slide for your students to interact with.